Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So right now I just want to give you guys a quick introduction to Cinema 4D Lite. So you can open up Cinema 4D by uh, going into your After Effects, right click, new Maximum Cinema 4D file, and it will do like this, you'll have to save it, I just called mine intro, and it will automatically open it. If it doesn't, just uh, highlight, edit, edit original, and Cinema 4D is open. So, this is Cinema 4D Lite, and uh, it's basically Cinema 4D, but with some f uh, or a lot of uh, options disabled. So, we can do. Well, let's just take a look at the different uh, menus. So, you've got your. All your menus up here, I don't use them that much. You've got all your tools, so your selection tools, move, scale, rotate tool. This is your axes, you can disable and enable them. Uh, your render button, it will basically render the image. Your, uh, what is it called? Your render to picture viewer button and your render settings. Then this is where you create everything. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. This is where you create everything. So you, if you click and hold, you can see all the different object, objects that you can create. You can create a cube. Press E to get the move tool. Move it around. Press R to get the rotate school tool. Press T to get the scale tool. And you can basically move it around like that. You can also create other objects. I know what I just created. You can create a figure. You can try and use the the tutorial where you add um, 3D objects. Then you can try and add this figure to like your bedroom. Maybe make him lay in your bed or stand on the ground or something. You can also add landscapes. So you can drag all these. Uh, Tracking all these small points, and you can basically uh, like create some cool stuff. If I change these width segments, I'm going to get some more detail. So as you can see, this is now some pretty cool mountains. Control R, and we are now rendering the image. Um, there are also splines that you can use, so you can do like a cubic spline make some points close the spline and you can extrude it and now it's got a cool shape, this could be some kind of table so as you can see you can do some pretty cool modeling in here as well you can also use these uh, nerves and stuff and uh, in the later Cinema 4D uh, tutorials I will go over all of this I know that they are, they are already on the channel, so uh, in those tutorials we use uh, these kinds of splines and like use them to uh, create cool shapes. Let's just try and create one right now. So I'll use a loft nerve, drop these on the loft nerve and there we go. We've got our pretty cool shape. So as you can see, this way you can actually create some pretty uh, interesting geometry to add to your scene. I don't know, if you had enough time, you could definitely create like stairs and tables and all sorts of stuff. You can also add caps to this, so that the edges aren't that harsh. Boom, 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 boom. So as you can see, there are a lot of options. Um, if you have an object like this cube, which was an object that we just created from this menu, then um, you can actually make it into an editable object and uh, start moving these points around. You can also delete faces and uh, move the edges around if you were to just select an edge. 
Um, it's not like in the other versions of Cine 40 where you can extrude and stuff. It doesn't like, let you do that. Um, so you can't do real modeling in here. You can't do like make nice models of whatever you want. Um, but if you have a 3D object, you can download a lot of 3D objects from the internet, then they will be able to be imported into this program. So you can't create them in here, but if you have them uh, somehow, then you can definitely use them. Um, let's just remove everything but the landscape and uh, maybe make it a little bit larger. We can add lights as well. We can add a simple light like this. Or, yeah, let's just try and render this. There we go. We can also add something like a sunlight. And the sunlight is basically going to, I think it uses your position and like the time of the day and then it's going to imitate that sun. I should render this. This is how it looks. We can also do an area light. This is my favorite light. I use these all the time because of how uh, how nice the shadows are and how nice the diffusion can get if you make them very large. Let's just try and add a area light and render. You can also change the color to make it look like sunlight. And uh, if we rotate this and move it down a bit, we're going to get some more interesting uh, colors. There we go. This looks like a very cool cliff. And remember, this is all created in Cinema 4D Lite, which is free and which comes, or it's not actually free, but it comes with your paid version of After Effects. So if you have After Effects, then this comes free. Um, I think this is about it for the basic overview. You can also create cameras uh, like that. You can look through the cameras, animate the cameras, they allow you to do a lot of cool stuff, like this. Move around with the cameras. Uh, and as you can see now, we've got an animation. It's all very easy with Cinema 40. So if you know how to use uh, the full version of Cinema 40, then this will be very easy. Uh, so... You have also got things like arrays, let's just delete this landscape and create a sphere. Put that under the array and as you see now you can actually clone objects and do all sorts of cool stuff. Look through the camera, watch the animation, move around the cube, sorry the spheres, you can render and um, I think this is about it for this overview. This was meant to just be a quick overview to show you some of the possibilities and also tell you about the limitations. So that's about it. Bye. Thank you for watching Ethiopedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.